Well, we had a bit of luck on Let's Play Q9 viewers because off to the left is a fortune field which I used to get up to 825 strength. Uh Yeah, so As long as I don't do anything stupid Ow Oh, that fortune field really worked in my favor. The demon touched it and died, I assume. Yeah, I actually... This is not my first attempt at recording this episode. I actually got a phone call um, related to a family emergency, actually, that has been going on in the... Brian 1980 family for the last few weeks. And so. But yeah, it's kind of. Damn it, Rhino, can't you do anything right? You could have killed that wolf for me at least. Extra life. Deus shield plus limshot four. Ha deus sixty plus. Oh, I should have enough shields to get through this. Ow! How do I weigh you, damn demon? Pretty much out of my way, everybody. Oh, son of a bitch! Clever. Oh, shut up. The Death World, level three. I almost wish there was a smart bomb item that would wipe out all the enemies on the screen. There goes the phone. Game? Why not kill the demon, Rhino? Extra life. 
extra strength. Wow, I was actually managed to be able to get that. I dare Six or don't I? <laughs> All right. Let's try not to screw that up again. I've actually gotten pretty lucky with those fortune fields. Come on. Yeah, and I should point out that this game is almost totally random as far as, like, object placement goes. So, there's no guarantee that you'll find 
as many fortune fields in this level as I have during this, you know. You may not get so lucky. Four hundred days she Oh, I hear the level portal. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Yes. So what happens next? You have 423,239 points. <laughs> I've stolen your spaceship, pal. You didn't think you were going to get away that easily, did you? I'm the true hero of this game, and if you want to prove otherwise, well, you'll have to do so. Okay, the final battle. <laughs> the Death World Boss Battle. And he'll just taunt you. And yes, demons will show up. Got him! He just says I don't want to be a speaker voice anymore. But yeah, demons will show up, sometimes items will show up, you and have he will. 432,358 points. Oh yeah. Not so bad at all. That was almost too easy. <laughs> easy? You little shit! Let's try the cob link. Hello? 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 Calling Q9. Calling Q9. Hello? You have done quite well, though not as well as we were expecting. Still, however, you do get a reward. Press the reward button on your control panel. Thank you. Now that I mean come home. Oh, well, at least it's something. Let's try the button. Oh. Hi, Max. Uh, uh, I got a sticker that says good on it. Uh, great, great. Let's go home. And as I'm sure you can guess by that, um, there is another ending for beating it on the higher difficulties. And I will probably do a bonus episode showing that, but probably not right away. go back reading the main menu prompt oh god congratulations you've unlocked the game cheat codes a text file called q9 action game cheat codes.txt has now been created on your desktop i thought i had the q9 your final cheat score codes. is 432,358 <clears throat> points main menu okay Use so up and down arrow keys to um, an option and then that's q9 uh <laughs> I wasn't able to hold to my quote-unquote promise and not lose any lives, <laughs> but uh, thanks to a little luck with those fortune fields, I actually lost fewer lives this time than I usually do. Um, <clears throat> but in the style of H.C. Bailey, I'm going to do a review of the game. Um, overall, I'd give it a 10 out of 10 personally. I, mean, I love the cartoony feel of it, just in the humor. Uh, Philip Benefall is a kind of, well, even him, he and he himself has said he's kind of a sadistic fellow with some of the stuff that, I mean, in his new game, Perilous Hearts, uh, well, I'll do an LP of that one once it comes out and I've had time to actually complete it, but yeah, you'll, I mean, he has got a really off the wall sense of humor. And I really like that. So I'll give that, you know, control-wise, again, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. A, because the controls really seem to work. 
Uh, they're very responsive and they're simple to learn. I mean, what is there to learn? I mean, you walk left with the left arrow, walk right with the right arrow, and jump with the up arrow, and then, you know, run by holding the control key and the spacebar attacks, and uh, the P button pauses, the, you know, it, it's all pretty simple. Um, <clears throat> Audio-wise, you know, the sound effects are, again, they're cartoony, but given, you know, the setting of the game and the cartoony nature of the game, that is, I mean, it's perfect. Uh, Music-wise, again, I'd say a 10 out of 10. I mean, yeah, it's, you know, orchestral, which, you know, some people have said that's kind of off-putting, but I kind of like it. And uh, like I said, uh, the guy that composed the music, his name was Quentin, Pe Quentin Pendle, I believe. He did a really good job of that. And the speech is all pretty, pretty damn good, considering it was all done by one guy, that being the man of the hour, Philip Benefall himself, which is really impressive considering that English is not this guy's native language. I mean, he's from Sweden. And if you play, let's say, one of his earlier games like Tarzan Jr., Tarzan Jr., he did a side, another side-scroller uh, called, as I said, Tarzan Jr. And uh, you could really tell back then that English was not his first language. Now, you know, however many years later it's been. I think it's been, what, 10 or 11 years, I think, since Tarzan, Tarzan Jr. was released? I don't remember. But, um, maybe it was... But you could really, you can really, like, if you play that game and then you play Q9, or, you know, some of the other... Because he's done some voice work in other games, because he does have a really good voice for that. Uh, you can really tell, you can really hear how far he's come as far as... English. So yeah, again, I would give it a 10 out of 10, consi you know, considering, you know, and so yeah, I'd say this is a pretty, I mean, it's definitely worth your time, uh, and considering that it, like most audio games, was developed by basically one man with help from others, I mean, he did all the coding and Philip did all the programming and stuff, uh, I mean, it's a pretty damn solid effort as far as I'm concerned, and uh, he hasn't had to, as far as I know, he hasn't had to release many patches with bug fixes. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is a pretty good, uh, pretty good effort on the behalf of Blast Base Studios, or on the part of Blast Base Studios, Studios, I should say. Now, the demo version of the game. I believe it lets you play, I think, the first two levels of the jungle world. Alert. And, damn it. Low battery. 20. There's my phone Dismiss. telling me it's got a low Button. battery, which I'll charge it later after I get done. Dismiss. Recording 20. this. Dismiss. Button. Anyway. Viewfinder. Mode. Stop recording video. Anyway, there we go. Button. Uh, not a very good end. But anyway, um, the demo version of the game, if I'm not, like I said, if I remember correctly, it lets you play the first two levels of the jungle world, and then the first level of the cave world, and then it stops. And then you have to buy the game. Now, the game costs $25, I believe, $20, $25. It's not that expensive at all. And you go over to www.blastbay.com, and that is, as it sounds, B-L-A-S-T-B-A-Y. Dot com, and you can buy the game with PayPal, or I think you can also pay with a, you know, credit or debit card directly if you don't want to use PayPal or you don't have a PayPal account. And uh, once your payment is processed, which is pretty much instantaneously, I believe, you will receive in your email an email from Blast Bay Studios with your unlock code, and you just enter that into the game, and that unlocks the rest of the levels. So. Uh, that said, I hope you enjoyed this LP, and I hope, more importantly, I hope you enjoy the game. So this is Brian1980 signing off. Have a good evening. Mode. Stop recording video.